Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for um, stopping in to my um, current subscribers and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm just going to talk to you about my last little uh, DIYs that um, I worked on for this Christmas season and um, um, some of them are just really simple, fun little um, projects that um, I got some inspiration from, from some other, um, you know, YouTube uh, videos that I watched, and I just thought I would share them with you. First of all, these are a couple of um, just little um, crochet items, if you crochet. Um, this is like a little tag or a snowflake um, that I made a bunch of this year. Um, I made this one last year, um, but I used the same pattern and just kind of used them as snowflakes to hang on one of my Charlie Brown trees. And I'll insert a picture up here somewhere. And uh, this is a cute little um, pattern that was new this year for this little kind of snowflake, a star, and I decorated um, so, some of these on my tree and this was a bigger pattern that I thought was just really cute to just kind of um, you know use as a doily or you could even hang this on the tree too as a snowflake they're really cute they're simple patterns and I will link them below because they're all patterns that I found on um, line and free access to um, the patterns and they're really easy to make if you're a crocheter but I like to um, wrap some of my gifts and then use these as the little gift tags on the outside. And then the other project I used um, that I made was a project that inspired me from um, the fall when I made a um, pumpkin silhouette. And I'm going to link that particular um, video down below um, where I um, found the inspiration for because I did make the pumpkin silhouette on wood um, it was used from a stencil and I kind of transferred the same idea over for Christmas by using this um, stencil snowflake and this I picked up at the dollar store and as you can see I did use it for my project this is just the stencil base and what I did was I oh, sorry rattle rattle I'll show you that in a minute um, but I made this um, snowflake silhouette and I just kind of wanted to give it uh, you can either put it either way um, I wanted to give it kind of a rustic stormy look and um, what this is is just a, you know some plywood um, wood that my husband kind of put together for me um, he just picked up the wood at Lowell's and um, you know nailed them glued them together and then I found the snowflake silhouette at um, Dollar Tree and just kind of came up with um, just this cute little um, board sign and I like to have things for below um, when I decorate because I think it just kind of pulls some of the effects together and I'll insert a picture of where I have this in my home I have it in the kitchen next to one of my other um, little Christmas trees and I just think it came so cute and what I did to finish it off I kind of wanted to give it that rustic stormy look so um, what I did then, I just finished it off with these darling little pair of ice skates um, that I picked up um, at Hobby Lobby at 50% off and I thought it was just so cute to hang them up by this winter snowflake. And um, I'll just describe to you very simply what the process was because it's really easy and then I will link the pumpkin silhouette project that explains how to do it take your wood now i also know that walmart has some really nice planks put together some of them are already stained um, some of them have a whitewashing to them um, so there's that or if you find just an old piece of barn wood laying around 
anything will do. And you can hang this, you know, you can put jute behind it, hang it up for a while. But like I said, I like things to just kind of rest on the floor against something because I think it just kind of ties in all of the other decorations that you might have around. So basically what you do is you find yourself a stencil. And this was the snow stencil that I used and it was absolutely perfect for this piece of a wood project that my husband had put together for me a couple of months ago. And what I did was I painted um, with chalk paint in white um, just enough that would cover the outline of this snowflake. So I just kind of put the snowflake on there and with a pencil I just sort of just went around the outer edges so that I knew I needed to paint all of that area. And that's the area that I wanted um, to remain white or you could use you know a cream colored or off-white but because it was a snowflake I went with white and then I took some painters tape and I think I might have some on here no I took it all off just some painters tape and I put it all throughout the snowflake and then I popped the snowflake well I'll actually show you the side that I used right on the board and the um, painters tape holds very well and then I went ahead and took stain. Now I used a dark outside wood stain. Um, it's almost, it was almost black, but I just wet my cloth in water and then I dabbed it into the stain. And then what I did was I just held down the um, stencil because it's tape, but I just wanted to hold it down so that it wouldn't bleed behind the area and just took that cloth and just went all the way around on the inside parameter, as you can see the stain everywhere, and the outside parameter. And then um, what I did was I just roughly took that cloth and went over the rest of the entire board. After I did that, then I mixed a combination of two different chalk paints. One was in Elephant, I think the color was, which is a gray, and then I added a little bit of um, cream. And then that's when I went around and kind of made these um, strippy um, motions with the damp rag just to get that uh, stormy effect. And then I took a dry paintbrush and just dipped it into the white and just went around to just kind of give it a little snowflake effect. So that's how I put this together. Um, I went ahead and added just a tiny little nail, skinny nail there, and then I just hung these ice skates whoops, on the nail and um, I just think it turned out to be just a really, really cute little project. You can't get the whole thing in the screen, but I will insert the picture. So I don't have um, a video that shows you the step-by-step -step procedure for the snowflake, but if you look at the um, video that I watched and that I made a pumpkin silhouette with, then you can follow that if you're interested in doing this. And you know, the sky's the limit. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with the background. I didn't know if I was also going to paint that a white light color or something dark. So kind of the sky's the limit. You can make the background really dark if you want. You can make it light. You can do whatever you want with it. But that's how it turned out. And then when it was completely finished, I probably put, I think, two to three coats of a Mod Podge over it just because I wanted to give it that little bit of a smoother and a lighter, glossier look. So that was project number um, two that I worked on. Um, I still sit watching a good movie and just crochet these little stars because you know you can use them for anything and then the third project and I will um, link the video below I think I still have a couple of videos I watched to kind of, that kind of inspired me but again this happens to be a board that came from Walmart just like this and actually it was already um, stained in kind of that um, whitewash grayish farm looking um, you know stain and it was just perfect and I loved it and what I did was this right here is a gift bag 
It's a gift bag that I bought at Walmart. And it's a, it was a two-sided gift bag. And what I did is I cut it out. So I still have another side to do some other project with or if I wanted to make another one. Um, and what I did was I just went around and cut um, this part of the bag out, of course, all the way around, but then even through um, the candy canes here. And then I just simply Mod Podged um, onto the board. I didn't put any other color or stain on the board. Mod Podged this particular piece on the back. And I, before I did that, I just kind of had went ahead and put um, to center the um, piece in the middle and then just kind of marked it lightly with a pencil. Li Mod Podged the back, lined it up, put it down, and then I gave it several coats of Mod Podge over it and then I hit the Mod Podge all the way around the entire board and then I put this little um, trim on the bottom and um, whoops and then the Merry Christmas and these I picked up at the dollar spot at Target they were already painted and um, I just went ahead and put it on the trim and then um, dollar spot at Target these sweet little mittens that say warm wishes and believe a dollar spot at Target and then just put together a cute little bow and Again, I'll insert a picture of where I have this laying against my china hutch in the hallway on, to, on the floor because, um, you know, I just think it adds that dimension, that depth. When you're looking around and you see other Christmas decorations hanging on the wall, I think it's just a really nice accent uh, to put on the floor. And I was just so happy with this. So simple, so easy. And relatively very inexpensive to make and I think again you can hang a piece of jute on if you want it for the wall and uh, just really simple and easy and I think the most important thing on this is when you're doing your Mod Podge is to make sure that you're really smoothing this down and I probably before I store this away I'm probably going to give another one or two coats just through here of the Mod Podge just to make sure that it stays a nice and um, um, flat and glossy but really cute and I was just thrilled with how simple and easy that um, came out so that's really all I have to show um, I'm pretty much done with all of my um, Christmas projects that I'm going to work on because I've just been running my tail off um, just behind on everything only because I've just really had a rough time as you most of you know with these allergies and sinus issues and um, now I get to enjoy my husband being home for about three and a half weeks and I'm so excited and I'm going to spend as much time as I can um, with him and family and just trying to finish up on all the Christmas stuff that I need to do and stuff I need to get wrapped and ah oh, you know just put everything in the right order and I do want to do some baking and one of the most important baking um, uh, items that I make is homemade biscotti I really only do it once a year I make quite a bit freeze it um, give it for gifts and uh, I have to get busy doing that like everybody else you know it just time just goes so fast and you just kind of run out and you just think oh phew. You know, I'm a list maker. I have to follow along with doing the best I can with that. But um, like I said, I was kind of um, held back because of all of this, these um, problems with sinus and they just keep you down. But I am feeling much, much better. And so I hope I'm on a fast roll. So until next time, thank you for stopping in. Um, I hope you're enjoying your Christmas holiday season and um, be kind, be humble, and age gracefully. Bye. Mm -hmm.